Today I'm gonna have to apologize to you and I will explain more in the video. Hi and welcome to today's video. My name is Freya Casey, professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. I've sung in all different genres professionally. I started out with some lead roles and some operas and then I moved toward more musical theater and then I was more of a freelancer singing on cruise ships all over the world and um, just been doing whatever I love doing in the past 15 to 20 years. And um, so I want to share something today with you. If you have been watching my videos, you may know a little bit about me. And if you are new to my channel, then you're just gonna get the gist of where I come from today. So my background is that I was raised in a musical family. My parents both performed a lot. My dad was a singer and my mom accompanied him either on the accordion or the guitar. They did like folk music that is like a German genre or Schlager. I don't know what that is called in any other country, but they were on the radio, on television, and they had a lot of gigs. So I was very accustomed to being at the studio or, you know, going places with my parents. And then later on in life, I decided that I wanted to do music too. It was very natural for me. And um, I started teaching early on. I always loved to teach. And um, the thing that I want to apologize about today is... <laughs> It's not really an apology. I just want to tell you where I'm coming from. I come from the perspective of having taught so many students over the past 15 years or so. And I have been teaching students who are an average person out there, someone who loves singing. Some people have been very beginner level and some more an intermediate and a few were quite advanced. I did have some students who went on to study music professionally and they became either a professional musical theater singer or, you know, in some other capacity, just freelancing. And it makes me very happy. However, just having this background of being a vocal coach that has been coaching singers who were just an average singer, I can tell you that I've never been a friend of there's this one thing you can do and then everything is fixed. I have just seen how much it takes to really change any habits. And here's the thing, there's a, there are some vocal coaches out there who will only take on students who are amazing. There are people, you tell them to do something and they're such quick learners because naturally, they're already so talented that when you tell them something, there's a really quick change in the way they sound. Then there are those regular average love to sing and just want to see how far I can go with my voice type of singing students. And I can tell you that that takes a lot of creativeness to work with a lot of people who aren't just naturally, you know, like me, I will hear something and I was like, can't you hear it? I mean, I do think sometimes when I listen to some of my students, okay, don't you hear this? This is so obvious. Like musically, can you hear what I just demonstrated? And I will demonstrate 10, 20 times and they still can't do it. It is not because someone is dumb or stupid. It's because they're coming from a background of, I don't know how to coordinate all this. I don't have all this on my radar. I'm the first one even putting things on someone's radar. And so I always come from this perspective of not teaching someone who's already amazing, but teaching someone who is struggling and who's coming from the beginning. Maybe that's why my videos, I tend to use terminology that is often very basic and easy to understand for almost anyone. Although, of course, I could get into all the musical terms, but then I know that there is a lot of people out there who will not understand. And I want all my videos and all my teaching to be for everyone who really is interested. And those of you who want to dive deeper, I do have those videos that dive deeper and that go into, you know, the squillo and the harmonics and the overtones and the, you know, compression. These are very important aspects, but even when I explain those things, I always explain it. Like when I look at the camera, I'm always thinking about the students that I've been teaching 
that are coming from this perspective of, well, I don't have this on my radar. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Maybe also because when I started studying voice, I was already a good singer. I just knew how to do it intuitively. But then understanding what someone was talking about, I had no idea. She was talking about space and high placement. I'm like, what do you mean? I have no idea. I mean, I hear your words, but I don't know what you want me to do. What is it? <laughs> and for me, the easiest way to do anything was always, okay, just show it to me. I'll hear it. Then I can do it. I just need to hear it. Like show me how to do it and what it sounds like. I can create a sound. But you tell me all this business about placement, high like larynx and like resonance and high and here. Like how do I make here? How do I make the sound here? My mouth is here. Like how? And you know, understanding all these aspects was just so difficult for me. So I'm always coming from that perspective. Please let me know in the comments. I would love to know you better. I want to know my audience. I know he's in my master class and those are usually the people who are very ambitious hobby singers. They really want to sing and they want to learn, but it is those singers who are just an average person. They're not the star or someone who was just born is like, okay, I'm amazing. You just show me something to polish. <laughs> and believe me, you have to be very creative and there is a lot of patience involved. And whenever I teach anything, I always come. I have just think of all the students that I've taught hundreds and thousands, literally, well, thousands of the internet, but hundreds personally in my back of my mind, every time I say anything, I have all of this experience and all of those moments when my students tried something and something worked or something didn't work. So I'm coming from this background of trying to find these simple approaches to help someone, you know, start here and then you do this and then you do this. And that's where I'm coming from. Please let me know in the comments, what type of singer are you? Where are you? in your singing journey. Are you that I'm just an average person who loves to sing? I don't think I'm the world's most amazing singer. Or are you someone who maybe is working professionally and you think, well, I, I'm pretty darn good. I just want to maybe learn something else and just see for inspiration what else is out there. Here's my experience. <laughs> Those people like me, let me tell you, like someone who is into music and who is really like has this great ear. I don't want to hear all these explanations anymore. I'm totally not interested in watching other vocal coaches on YouTube. It's not anything that interests me. I love to look at the research. I like to actually look at singers uh, because I know a lot already. I can just listen to a singer. I watch them and I know what they're doing. And I try to learn from that, but totally boring to me to watch a vocal coach explain anything. It's like, oh, okay, done it a million times. And I've heard it and I've explained it. Yeah, I agree. Maybe not so much. Ouch. Well, there are definitely some vocal coaches where I, you know, when I watch them, it's like, ouch, please don't make your students do that. That's not a good thing. And there are some vocal coaches I do every once in a while just kind of want to check what someone does. And you know, if it's someone who has a whole different voice type from mine, I watched some videos about bass because I'm not a bass. So there are some things I might not know because I don't have that experience of singing bass or, you know, a tenor, which is a lot more closer to, you know, I'm singing high head voice. That is okay. But like a bass, true bass, low, I might not be able to do it. And that's why it is important for me to educate myself on like, how do they do that? I can't anatomically go there, but I still want to be able to teach more. And so sometimes I will find something so inspiring if it's someone who is really knowledgeable and can do it. To me, I can't deal with someone who just can't do what they're talking about or someone who doesn't know all their registers and doesn't sing appropriate in a genre that they're singing in. And so, I mean, there's lots of voice teachers out there. I'm not talking about just YouTube. I'm talking about in general. There are a lot of vocal coaches out there who just, I don't know, they try to teach someone musical theater, but then they have never sung 
in chess voice and they will never teach their female students to sing in chess voice. That is a little strange and it doesn't work. And I have so many students come to me and they have no idea. And they're like, what, really? There's chess voice? Oh, I'm not supposed to sing this song that way. And then I show them how it sounds so different and it's like profound. It's like, wow, I have to change my entire approach. That is a little frustrating that there are still so many vocal coaches out there, especially in the female realm, that are just only classically trained, which being classically trained is amazing. I'm classically trained, but early on, even before I ever started studying opera, I sang different genres and I sang in chess voice before I ever did opera. That was just kind of coincidence because at the university, all they did was classical. <laughs> there wasn't anything else that they taught. And so I became an opera singer. Maybe if I had gone to a jazz school and that's all they had had, I would have become a jazz singer. I think I could have done either direction, but opera was the thing and I was good at it. And then I got all the lead roles and I won competitions internationally. But just, I wanted you to know today, I just wanted to express this for me that, you know, I apologize if sometimes the way I teach is, <laughs> it's almost like I'm, I'm teaching like a child and it's like, Okay, I want you to do this. What I see is this vision of, okay, this is the problem because I've seen it hundreds of times. I know where it goes wrong and I know that it's gonna cause problems and struggles. And please, just do this thing that I'm showing you because I'm passionate. And that's why I talk like that sometimes, like I want you to do this. It's because I'm passionate and it's almost like, you know, I, I'm, my daughter tells me I'm both kind and strict. I think you need both. I'm on the one hand, I'm strict. I expect some things like just, just do this thing now, but then I'm also very kind about it. I'm like, it's good. If you're trying, that's all we want. You know, I have this like, you need two. In German, we have this saying, Zuckerbrot und Peitsche. If anyone knows German, you know this. It means sweet and sometimes you need a little whipping you know someone to kick you in the booty and sometimes you need a little you need someone to encourage and um it is a little difficult sometimes as a vocal coach you know all that sticks out to me is oh mm, that was just ouch no no that wasn't it that was totally not it but then there are moments where i'm i mean i can tell you when i'm giving video feedback to my masterclass students who are in my online masterclass when I give the video feedback to them, sometimes I just sit there, I watch their videos, and sometimes after working on something for like 15 times, they're doing a post and I'm watching it and I'm recording myself like as I'm reacting to it and commenting on it. And it's like, yes. And I'm sitting here like, yes, yes, they got it. And you can't imagine how much like how happy I am about those wins. It's like, yes, it's almost like I can check that box off for myself. It's like, yes, they finally got it. They, they felt it. And then of course, that doesn't mean that next time they're like, maybe they didn't quite get it, but they have gotten it once. And if you got it once, you're gonna get it again. I'm sorry if this video today is very chatty. I just wanted to connect with you guys more. And please let me know in the comments. I wanna get to know you better. What singer are you? Are you that beginner? or intermediate, just average person. I love to do it. Maybe I would like to do it more seriously, but it's not like I was born and I know I'm the most amazing singer in the world or like really, really good. And you can be honest. If you are really convinced that you're an amazing singer and people have told you so, please, it's okay to say, yeah, I'm actually a really great singer. People have told me all over the place. I kind of don't know what to do with it. And I just want to learn more. That's amazing. So thank you for watching today. I hope you're gonna stay tuned to my channel because there's lots of great things to come. I'm gonna have a belting challenge going on soon. I'm gonna let you know. And also, if you sign up for any of the free courses on my website, there are several free courses. You're, if you check that box that you wanna receive emails from me, of course you can unsubscribe at any time that you want. If you check that box, you will receive emails that announce anything like if I have a live challenge going on and it's high time for the live challenge to be back and I'm gonna have that five-day belting challenge again soon. We're gonna have a Facebook group in which you know, you can post your videos and actually show me how you do because if you explain to me what your problem is, it's never as good as I just hear you, 
and you may think something is your problem or describe a sound, but it's not accurate sometimes. It's really hard to put things in words. There's nothing better than me hearing and seeing you and then me giving you feedback and showing you how to do it right. So have a great day. I hope you're gonna be back next time. Until then, happy singing. Always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved us.